Hi guys, welcome to Tamra's Tarot Variety. Tonight we have a very special guest. Um, let me tell you, it is May 13th, 2021. And it is about, I think, 3.15 a.m. <laughs> this is the best time for me to do readings. Um, I would like to welcome Heather Michelle O'Rourke. Yay! Oh, guys, she looks so pretty. She's wearing, um, she looks a little tan, like just a little bit of color. And she's wearing um, like a white sort of prairie shirt, very fashionable, with a tan belt and a flowy white skirt. They're both, um, it's very beachy. And they're both, she's like, yeah, she's from San Diego. And they're both flowy. And um, she's wearing like a blue flat. She's like the 80s are back. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but it's modern. And um, the, the it's very quality clothes she's wearing. The blue flats are just like that really nice leather. Um, yeah, they're, they're, she said they're the nice flats um they have like a black bottom and her hair is like her bangs are kind of straight and the rest is wavy she has like a a headband in it's very classy and it has it's it's very thin and it has like little pearls on it and um she has some really hip um, she said she's kind of looking a little like 80s and Gen Z. Um, she has like some hip round glasses and um, no makeup. She said a little like tinted lip balm, but she's surrounded by dogs. Um, she said she loves animals. She's surrounded by, um, they're all like... Uh, brown like a light brown um golden retrievers and yorkies and they're all like around her surrounding her it's really lovely um welcome heather o'rourke so um i'm just gonna give a little biography of heather so heather Michelle O'Rourke <laughs> was an American child actress. She was born December 27th, 1975 in Santee, California, which is near San Diego. And um, she's only, I believe, uh, seven years younger than I am. So that's amazing. I thought, you know how it is that's that seven years, um, her, Poltergeist came out when um, I was in junior high. So I just always remember you as a little girl, as you know, many people, that is what will stay in our memories and she's shaking her head. So she was a Capricorn sun and her moon and rising were in Libra. And uh, I have the same thing, so we have that in common, which is an interesting mix. So I'm a Cancer, and my moon and rising are Libra, but she 
was a Capricorn, so we're both cardinal signs leaders. We're both actresses. I am an actress, um, you know, stage in New York and improv and stuff. But um, she, the the Capricorn with the the Libra rising and Libra moon, in, incredibly intelligent and um she's saying she had like a, a photographic memory and that's what it, so she had and she she her birth chart she had um the emotion she had the intelligence of libra the intelligence of and the groundedness of capricorn but she was also a medium you guys Okay, we'll get back to this, but uh, more about uh, her, you know, the stats. Um, she was discovered while she was having lunch with her mom at MGM Studios by Steven Spielberg. And he prompt, promptly cast her in the horror film Poltergeist. So if you haven't seen that, guys, if you're just tuning in, I'm sure most of you have seen it, but please watch that movie. And it's interesting that whenever anyone asks me what my favorite horror film is, it's that. And I think it just, you know, I'm a medium. I was contacted by spirit when I was a child. So I really relate to that movie. And I think the way that it was done, it was just so real and, you know, it's not a slasher film. Um, we'll get into that. But so she was promptly cast as Carol Ann Freeling. And she actually beat out Drew Barrymore for the role. And, you know, not that it, there's a competition or anything, but, you know, she was fated. She was made for that role. And she was a medium. And she was doing mediumship during that film, which is just amazing. Um, but I'll go on to the <laughs> earthly facts. She won six Young Artist Awards and she was active from 1981 to 1988. And guys, she was phenomenal. Like the, what producer said, like she, so she would, had she not passed away, in 1988 she would have gone on to be a very famous actress like she would have worked a lot in her young life she worked so much and she was so good at it she didn't feel stress she said maybe a little bit but she's being modest um she had the intelligence, the emotion, the mediumship. I have a hard time um, studying lines. I, okay, she's saying yeah, but when I was, we're talking. She's when I was younger, I could I could memorize. Um, but anyway, she had just the the everything that you everything that you need and more incredibly talented, incredibly intelligent. And that's honestly when we see good actors and actresses, um, guys, they tend to be um, spiritually connected at the least, mediums, and also very intelligent. And it's a mix of um, intelligence, the logic and emotion, and that's what is um, so special about like her level of acting. So anyway, um, this is 
where some controversy comes in. Okay, guys. So supposedly what was, and she's shaking her head. No, what was the information that was given to the public was during Poltergeist 3, she contracted Giardia from uh, well water and she also had Crohn's disease. And so she's saying no to both of those. She did not have those. But she was given cortisone shots and she's she's showing me her flared cheeks and she was mad about that. Um, <clears throat> made her cheeks swell. Um, it was just, she was going through a really hard time, guys. But she did not have those conditions, okay? And she she passed from uh, an infection of her intestine and perforation of her intestine. And all I want to say is it was not a natural passing. Um, I've been talking to Heather for a few weeks now and that's all I can really say about that. There was foul play, but she would like to um, she just wants to say that um, there was no foul play with her family. Uh, she had a very good relationship with her family and she misses them a lot. She's watching over them. And um, there was no foul play with Steven Spielberg, but that's all that's all she wants me to say. And that's actually the one of the main reasons why she's here. I mean, she's she's been telling me a lot of information and it's going to come out in other videos. Um, but as far as the exact information on why she passed, I can't tell you all right now, but it was not, she did not have Giardia, she did not have Crohn's disease, and she's very upset, of course, that she passed, but also that she was treated for those, especially the cortisone. Um, but, you know, what's done is done. She's at peace. Um, she was not con it, you know, we have spiritual contracts. It was not in her contract to go at that time. So she will be coming back and she will, she was meant to be a very hardworking and productive actress. And she's going to come back and do that. Um, I asked her a few questions. I asked her if she was Irish. She said yes. Um, I asked her if she was Pleiadian because I'm, I was seeing a pattern um, of, I would say like 90% of the people that I, the spirits that came through in the beginning for me were Pleiadian, but she is not Pleiadian. She is not galactic, but she was psychic and she was a medium and she would have gone on to figure that out and um, become more spiritually connected. Um, she just was a mature soul, um, Capricorn, but you know, there was more to it and um, she was meant for that role, but she was meant to go on and do more. <sighs> but she had a, 
incredible intuition and yeah so during her last year of life it was a little bit stressful um I actually asked her if she had celiac disease because that can be you know deadly I have celiac disease and the fact that she was Irish a lot of Irish people have it um like one in a hundred so she said no no, you know, no celiac, no Crohn's again. And then I asked her also um, if I knew her because the a lot of the people who came in before, um, Kurt Cobain, Robin Williams, um, Mr. Rogers, uh, Biggie Smalls, Tupac, um, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> um, Joan of Arc, they're all uh, Pleiadian and I knew them. And Michael Hutchins, is not was not Pleiadian. He's <laughs> they're all coming in now. Um, <laughs> hi guys, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> Robin's like, oh no, no, it hasn't. We're, we're watching you. <laughs> I know Robin. Um, <laughs> but so they're all Pleiadian, um, except for Michael Hutchins is um, galactic. Okay. So they're all leaving now. Bye. <laughs> so we could talk to Heather. Um, so I, I, I haven't known Heather. Um, and yes, she also said she did have sepsis from that condition. Um, uh, she will incarnate again. as an actress. Oh, yes, she had a good relationship with her family and she was an indigo aura. And um, okay. I think she's saying, give me just a minute to talk to her, you guys. Um, I think she's saying, were you an ENFJ? Um, hold on, I'm trying to hear her. Um, were you an INFJ? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She uh, was an INFJ. I'm, uh, that's what I am too. Yeah. <laughs> um, INFJs uh, tend to go into writing or uh, oftentimes mediums, actors, actresses, um, yeah, uh, I believe Jesus was an INFJ um, into spirituality and things like that. So, yeah, she was an INFJ, a sensitive child. Um, I don't know what to say. It's just unfortunate, you know. Um, she's happy that she can help people now. Um, yeah, she will maybe, she's thinking about maybe telling us more in the future. Um,
She's very classy, you guys. Um, she said thank you. Yeah. Just um, scholarly, smart, personable. Uh, yeah, it's just, I'm trying not to get sad. She said, don't get sad. Um, these things happen, but she wanted to clear the name of her, the names of her family, that there was no foul play with her family, no foul play with Steven Spielberg. Um, cause that's been rumored, but there was foul play. It just um, it was not those people. And um, she's saying goodbye and thank you. Um, you'll always, you know, <laughs> she, her famous lines like, they're here <laughs> and they're back. She's laughing. Um, you know, she'll always be remembered. For that and by the way guys she's she came in a little bit older she kind of looks a little bit daryl hannah ish <laughs> and she's laughing and um all right heather i will let you go and um she wants to thank you all for um she said she feels the love and the um, respect when people watch her movies and do readings about her. People have done tarot readings. Um, she likes the respectful ones and just that, you know, she was able to entertain and to show that part of you know that movie has meaning that movie has weight um you know that there was a strong meaning behind it uh it's very deep how you know homes were built on indian burial grounds and um how that's sacred and the energy stays um so there was meaning to that and um she also says there's not a curse there's not a curse like a you know people do pass but um she said oh, there's not a curse in hollywood but it is one of and and you know um Um, Brandon Lee said this too, it's a dangerous profession. And she said, yeah, and for women especially. Um, but, you know, um, it is also, it's just dangerous. And I'm going to do a video about, she's uh, Gen X, I'm Gen X, um, Brandon Lee, a lot of people that I've channeled or Gen X and there's also an added element to Gen X. Um, a lot of our parents were boomers, even though, you know, uh, boomers had, some boomers had their children very young and, you know, uh, the greatest generation too. It's a mix. But anyway, not to get too into that, there's enough division anyway. But just for those of you who are Gen X, you might relate to this. This isn't everyone, but a lot of us Gen Xers, as kids, our parents treated us like we were invincible, that we were so strong. Um, and it was just the time period. 
And, um, you know, that's a whole rabbit hole that I, I want to go down and I, I want to uh, do a whole video about that because um, a lot of us just did, did a lot of physical damage to our body. And um, yeah, I can feel Brandon Lee. And uh, we continued that on ourselves and um, you know, we were, a, we are a blessed generation financially in some ways, um, but physically um, we were raised in a time period where, you know, uh, we ate a lot of garbage. Um, we, we just did, a lot of us did a lot of physical strain to our bodies. But anyway, um, that's a whole rabbit hole and um, she's waving by. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Bye, Heather. Thank you. Love you. She's, <laughs> she's very, uh, um, she has really good boundaries, you guys. She has very good boundaries. I like it. Anyway, um, that is it for Heather O'Rourke at this time. And, um, you know, with my ADD, I'm going to watch this again. If there's mistakes, guys, I'm just going to leave it. I'm not, I don't have a professional editor, so... Anyway, guys, if there's mistakes, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just going to say goodbye to everyone and good night and thank you, Heather. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in.